This is about these awesome goldfish here. Something that we use whenever we have goldfish and koi. And then I'm also gonna put some directly into the filter. Walmart rescued koi and goldfish. Look at that. Comment down below. Let me know what you think we could do with this. Give me some ideas. Boom! What's up Billings fam? Welcome back. We are in the Billings house basement. If you have been paying attention and watching, you know we have been working on cleaning up, setting up to have just a, a, a huge array of awesome stuff going on in the winter that we can come down here and hang out all the time and have some fun. We got the turtles back there. We got some goldfish, which they are the topic of today's video. And we got our awesome new planted 55, which I am super pumped about, our DIY shelf. Tank is doing great. We've got some minnows in there. We got some crawfish. It's been doing awesome. I'm having fun. As always, guys, go down and subscribe right now. Hit that bell. Turn those notifications on. Share this around. Billings to a million. Now, back to what this whole video is about. Boom. Oh, you can't see it. Where is it? Where's the picture? There it is. Pool pond. Pool pond setup. Similar to Fred and Kazoo and Xena setup. What's up guys? Fred, how's it going? It is not time to eat yet. This video is not about you guys, unfortunately. Everything else is always about you guys. This is about these awesome goldfish here and the ones upstairs that are even bigger than, than them. So as you see, we've had this temporary tank set up for a very long time now. It has been great. It is now home to, you can see him there, that's the large crawfish that we found in the abandoned tank before we cleaned that all out. Hope you guys checked out that video. If you didn't, make sure you go do that. But this tank is finally gonna be broken down. We want this place to look a lot nicer down here. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things. So, goldfish and goldfish upstairs and koi are gonna be going in the new pool pond. These crawfish are gonna go in here and we're gonna build a couple of other things in there for them to have a nice place. We're gonna break this down so we have some more room down here because as I've said, there are so many other things coming. These guys, all right, I'll give you guys your spotlight for a minute here. These guys do need a new home as well. This is not big enough anymore, so we will be building them something even larger. We gotta get to work. We have so much work to do today. Make sure you stay tuned. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So we do have our spot picked out. This is going to look beautiful once it's done. I really like this. I, if you can see, we put just a nice little tablecloth in the back there just to kind of cover up the wall. Uh, we do have our pool there. That is the same pool we used with Fred's Enclosure. We will put the link in the description. It's a nice, cheap little pool we got right off of Amazon, uh, right next to it. This is kind of cool guys i like this it's an easy little way to make it a look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing it is a little bamboo window shade we're going to cut it in half repurpose it it's going to kind of look like fencing that goes all the way around we do have our pea pebbles uh these are actually these are river pebbles excuse me that we picked up at uh home depot we actually washed those off the other day let me take you over there right now george no don't eat it no 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 Okay, so something that we use whenever we have goldfish and uh, koi, and there are some other fish that like this as well. I think cichlids use it as well. So this is uh, crushed coral, and it's a good way to bring the pH and the hardness of the water up, which these fish like. So we do have that in the tank upstairs and in that pool pond over there. So we are gonna put some of that in there as well. And then we have our awesome little rug that is gonna go underneath. And then we have our pumpkins for fall. Guys, let me know what your favorite season of the year is so ours around the Billings family is fall we are gonna use those we're gonna carve some really cool things in them actually Tay is because she's extremely creative I got to show you one of those once she does it because it's really really cool she had a cool owl or you did a dinosaur that's right Tay did a dinosaur last year all right so we're gonna get this all set up Boom, looking nice. We got all the rocks in there. It fits pretty much perfect. There's a couple of small gaps, but it's gonna all even out because we are gonna put the filter. In. Actually, there's gonna be probably about two filters in there. Heater, some other places for them to hide. So I will move some of the rocks around, but it is gonna be perfect. So the next thing that I wanna do before I get the water in, like we talked about, is get some of this crushed coral. So there's two places I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put some just in here on the ground. I'm also going to spill it all over the floor apparently, but I'm gonna put some on the ground and then I'm also gonna put some directly into the filter. This way, some of it uh, in the 
the filter is going to be a little bit slower over time and then with it sprinkled right on the ground it's going to release a lot quicker so like i said we do want a higher ph in here and a higher hardness of the water for them so that is what i'm going to do right now let's put some in here Okay, so it is time for water. We gotta get this thing filled. So we are in a little bit of a rush with this, guys. If you didn't check out the last video, we just rescued some other big fish and we need the Koi's tank. And, and they need a bigger tank anyways, they're getting huge. So we need to get them in this as soon as possible. We obviously still have to get this cycled, but we're trying to do it the best way that we can in a very rapid speed because we gotta get them in here. We need everything that we have. So we gotta get them in here so that we can have their tank for some of the other fish that we rescued. Okay guys, so while the pool is filling up with the water, we are gonna take the filter from in here. I gotta rinse it off using aquarium water, of course. And I'm gonna put some of that crushed coral in there as well. So we're gonna do that so that we can get that in the pool and we get that thing going. One thing I do wanna do for the inside pond for these koi and goldfish, I wanna take some of the water hyacinth and throw it in there, I think it will help. There's a couple of smaller pieces. Actually, this one is perfect. Look at that. It's actually growing some little ones off of it. Let's go throw it in. Look at that. I think it is really starting to come together. I love the look. Look at the little bamboo fencing that Tay put up. I love that. Just kind of gives it a little natural look, but I love oh, the water hyacinth. We're gonna get a, we have a really cool light that's coming. I'm gonna kind of hook it up over there. We are back. It is day two of our awesome downstairs pool pond for our koi and goldfish. We have done a lot off camera, so I'm gonna give you a tour of that. But the last final touch, we picked up a couple of these plants at Walmart, and I, I love them. I think they'll kind of spice it up a little bit in there, but gotta go wash these off. So bear with me one second. All right, washed off. Let's get these suckers in, but we gotta do it the billing way. Ready? Boom! And there you have it, Billings fam. We have our final finished product of our pool pond for our Walmart rescued koi and goldfish. I'm super excited. This thing came out even better than I could have imagined. Let me give you the walkthrough of everything we got going on. So as you can see, we filled everything up. We got all our filters. For filters, we have a couple of them. So we got our two huge sponge filters right there in the corner. And then over on that side, we have our huge internal canister filter, which is gonna do some amazing work. As you can see guys, we do have some live plants in here. We got the water hyacinth. Now with the live plants inside, they obviously needed some light to grow. So we went out, we got an awesome light that we picked up off of Amazon. I'm gonna put that link in the description. It is this right here. It is specifically meant to help plants grow and even more specifically, aquatic plants. So really cool, this is exactly what that is designed for. The light has been awesome when we turn off everything and have just that on. It actually has a really cool, uh, like a warm white look to it. Anyways, we'll put that in the description. That should help keep those water hyacinths growing all through winter. And the other big thing, which I don't know if you can hear the noise, uh, we did pick up a nice large air pump, which again, I'll put this in the description below. This one can do six at a time. Another really cool point about it, which I'll try and show you over here, here are the six valves that it has. They actually each have their own shutoff. So right now we only have two going. You can shut the other ones off and you can actually lower or raise the amount of pressure coming out of the ones that you are using. It is a little noisy. If anyone has ever used this, if you have found a way to make it a little bit quieter, please let me know in the comments down below because it is very, very loud, but super effective. It can put out a lot, a lot of force with it, which is awesome. So that is powering the two uh, sponge filters over there. So that's pretty much the setup. And again, just to remind you guys, some of the stuff that you see on the bottom, that is the crushed coral. We've already measured the pH and it has already brought it all the way up to about 7.4, which is perfect for these koi and goldfish. So absolutely love it. I am super excited. I hope you guys are. So without further ado, let's get to this episode's good vibe shout out. It's a really cool one, I like this. So this, this episode's shout out goes out to a user by the name of Nick Surrett. He says, hey, love the videos, I watched them all. You inspired me to build a tank. That is really, really cool, Nick. I'm glad that we could do that for you because again, for us, as you know, we are having a blast. This is all about having fun, hopefully giving you guys some info and giving you guys the, the um, kind of like leading the gateway to, to have some fun of your own, which seems like Nick has done, which is really cool. So 
I can't wait. Guys, do me a favor, make sure you turn those notifications on, the post notifications, because very, very soon after you see this, we are gonna get the koi and goldfish in here, and I can't wait. That is gonna be super exciting. And once they get in here, we have so many other things we're gonna do with their tank, with other tanks. Look at these guys. So I don't know if you've seen this yet. So we've put some little guys in here just to kind of get things going. Um, I put my sword tails down here. We got some minnows. We got a little baby sunfish. Look at the crawfish. I got a piece of cucumber in there. He's going to town. Really, really cool guy. Look at this. Look at this crawfish. Look at him on the plants. He better get off that. That's actually a really live one. So get off my live one. You can eat the dead ones. Focus. Focus. I like turtles. There it is. Really cool, but he is eating my live plants. Also, we just picked up this little beauty the other day. Nice little 20 gallon with a stand. I actually really like it. I need some ideas of what to put in this. I have no idea what I'm gonna put in this. So you know what we could do? We could make this into a quarantine tank, put some live plants in it, get it cycled and keep it for any new guys that come down here just to make sure they're good before they go into the new homes because there's gonna be a lot down here. If it's not a quarantine tank, not sure what we're gonna do, comment down below. Let me know what you think we could do with this. Give me some ideas. Absolutely love it, guys. Comment down below, anything at all, please. If you wanna be featured in the Good Vibes shout out, make sure you post some love down there for us. Billions to a million. Let's get there. This is so much fun. We are growing, it's awesome. I'm excited. As always, guys, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy. He wants to get They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Two very small fish. Excellent guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.